On this episode of Travel Dares, I'm taking Caroline to hop in the spa, where we're gonna soak in a tub full of beer. And I'm having Joe try some daring flavors at one of Portland's most famous ice cream shops. Come join us on our adventures on this episode of Travel Dares. Welcome to Travel Dares. I'm Joe. And I'm Caroline. And today we are in Portland, Oregon. Portland is known for its amazing food, handcrafted beers, and beautiful hikes. Portland's unofficial slogan is Keep Portland Weird, and we're here to explore the weirdest parts of the city. All right, Caroline, ready for your clue? Ready. All right. <laughs> Something's brewing. Okay, I think I have an idea of what this will be. Oh, do you? Yes. <laughs> right, yes, I'm excited. I have a pretty good guess that we are going to a brewery. We are going to make some beer. Caroline thinks we're going to a brewery, but little does she know, we're going to America's first beer spa. Caroline, can you do me a favor and just okay. slowly dip your hand down to the right? Oh. Wait, are those like oats or something? All right, Caroline. <laughs> Take off your blindfold. Because today, we're soaking in a tub full of beer! No way! One of the reasons that, you know, Sisters Oregon, where we're from, is just such a perfect place, is it's, you know, the Northwest is the hop capital of the world, uh, Central Oregon is the craft brew capital of the world. We source our hops from a variety of suppliers. Our primary supplier has been Crosby Farms and uh, over in the Willamette Valley. Hops is an herb. It has some anti-inflammatory properties and some analgesic properties. It's great for the skin, it's great for psoriasis and eczema. How does it feel soaking in a tub of beer? This is so fun. This is like a good hot soak, but the hops kind of feel like a good exfoliant on your body, which I'm always a fan of. So this is really enjoyable. I want to do something that combined our two favorite things. You love spas and I love beer. It smells so good and I am just loving it. It's a strange feeling for your body to be soaking in all these hops, but it's sure. something that like I'm getting used to. Like, I've definitely never had a spa experience like this before. Mm. Joe, that was so much fun, but now it's your turn. Oh boy. <laughs> Prepare to be chilled to the bone. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. Oh no, are we going to a haunted house? I'm gonna be chilled to the bone. Maybe I'm getting x-rayed, I don't know. This is a very cryptic clue. Now Joe's an adventurous eater, but I think these ice cream flavors are gonna be unlike anything he's tried before. So I'm just gonna have you hold this. What did I hold? This. Take it up to your face right. and take a taste. Mm. Take off your blindfold. Joe, we are at Salt and Straw, and we are going to be making three bizarre flavors of ice cream today. Seriously? Yes. Oh, awesome. <laughs> at Salt and Straw, I think we've come up with just over 500 flavors. We're constantly testing and trying out new recipes. When we're talking about our bone marrow ice cream, I think like that one in particular is so fun because we've got some of the best charcuteries and butcher shops in the country here in Portland. And then also, we've got these Oregon cherries that are just so dark and rich. Oh yeah, that is so satisfying. Our edible bug flavor, Creepy Crawly Critters, is so fun. So being able to put that in a grassy ice cream, like a matcha ice cream, almost makes you feel like you're laying on like a grassy field and the bugs are crawling up your arm. Mmm, crunchy. You might taste the thorax. So now we're gonna make some the peanut butter swirl that's gonna go in our pickle ice cream. Yum. We've got a pickle ice cream that we're working on. The pickles are so intensely fresh and like tart and it just made so much sense to start integrating them into cream and sugar. Pickles are disgusting. I don't like them, I don't eat them, not an ice cream, not a nothing. I don't know about this. I really don't think he's gonna try the pickle one, which is the one I was really excited for. We'll see, let's get to it. <laughs> I would like to start with the cherry and bone marrow. Oh, this is really good. You can taste the smokiness of the bone marrow in it. Really? Oh, with the cherries? Absolutely incredible. Mm. 
I have an announcement to make. Mint chocolate chip, over. It's not bugs and matcha. We are now going to the pickled ice cream. Dun, 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 dun. Must you? All right, here we go. Pickles and uh, peanut butter. I mean, here's what I like about it. The peanut butter's great, and it does a really good job of masking the taste of pickles. That being said, I don't hate it. I'm trying something new. I'm not the biggest pickle fan. I think this is pretty good, but I imagine if someone who loves pickles, this is your ice cream. Do you think your pickle-loving scale went up after this ice cream? Yeah, I'm a little more tolerant of pickles after this. Just... I always stick to the classic, like, chocolate, vanilla, caramel, and this is unlike anything I've tried before. All right, Joe, went to the beer spa that you picked out. Yep. What's my rating? Caroline, getting in a big tub of beer certainly is weird. You know, you seemed a bit oh. apprehensive getting in there and a little grossed out by the hops, <laughs> but after a while, you got into it. I noticed you started relaxing. You tried hard. <laughs> Three, seven, five. What? I mean, I guess that's fair. All right, Caroline, what's my rating? Okay, so when we went into Salt and Straw, I didn't know you'd have so much fun making the ice cream. And then when we actually got to try it, you loved the bone marrow, you loved the bug ice cream. Not so keen on the pickles, but you still tried it. And for those reasons, you're getting a four out of five. Woo! Four Pete, baby, I love it. Joe, traveling is all about trying new things, and we tried the beer spa, and we tried three unique flavors of ice cream, so I really think we made the most of Portland. This has been an amazing trip to the West Coast. Next stop, Key West.